Hi, thanks for coming. This video is about SHM graphs in the X domain. We'll start off with the AX graph. We already know that for an SHM, acceleration is negative omega square X. So the AX graph is clearly going to be a straight line graph with a negative gradient. The graph should not extend beyond the amplitude of the oscillation, x0 and negative x0. Most importantly, you should know that the gradient of this straight line can be equated to negative omega square. Let's move on to the Vx graph. For an SHM, the oscillation comes to a rest at the extreme positions. So we know that these are two points on the Vx graph. At the equilibrium position, the oscillation is at its maximum speed. So now we have two more points on the Vx graph. And the maximum uh, velocity we know is omega x naught. How are we going to join up these four points? Turns out it's an ellipse. For an ellipse, the gradient is actually zero here, and the gradient here should be vertical. So when you're sketching the graph, please take care. In fact, we know the mathematical formula for this ellipse is actually v is equals to plus minus omega, the square root of x naught square minus x square. This formula is actually given in your formula list, so you don't really have to memorize it, but I expect you to be able to recall this formula actually. This formula can be derived quite easily, actually. Remember, if we write x as x0 sine omega t, then v is going to be omega x0 cosine omega t. This means that sine square omega t can be written as x over x0 square. Likewise, cosine square omega t can be written as v over omega x0 square. If we sum up these two terms, we are actually summing up sine square plus cosine square, which we know from trigo identity to be always equals to 1. So if you rearrange this equation, you are going to get this. And students who are very good at mathematics will instantly recognize this as the equation of an ellipse with intercepts at x0 and omega x0. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!